Hey guys, whoa, crazy. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys, mano a mano, about how crazy Onision is for putting up a video saying that during the whole slut, slut, slut problem, that um, the person, if they put up that they are so stupid, and then if you reply to that post, or, you know, say something that you're automatically putting yourself out there and saying that you're the stupid person. So, um, and you see I messed up by doing this. For one, he made a video saying that Shiloh did not, in fact, get her cooch eaten out by a doggy. Pretty much blew her cover on that one, because, uh, seems like he admitted it, right? And along those lines, you can go ahead and say that, of course, Shiloh and Greg are scripted. I mean, he had to put a video out there responding to all of us haters about, you know, how they're not scripted. And by gosh, look at this security footage, because that tells us everything. Um, he also put out a video talking about how he never, in fact, cheated on Sky. He never did this. Never. How can you cheat with someone who is all the way across the country? That's impossible. There's no thing such as Skype or fucking cyber sex or anything like that or emotional relationships for that matter. And um, I just think it's ridiculous when you sit there and you dig yourself a hole and it just gets deeper and deeper and you're just too stupid to realize it. It's hypocritical, it's ironic, it's redundant, and it's funny as hell. It's funny as hell watching you make a video, just making yourself look like a big ol' hypocrite. Um, so, a lot of you asked, why do you guys make videos? And why do you spend so much time on someone that you hate? And the simple matter is, we don't hate this person. We simply have a different opinion than him. And if you think about it, if the world agreed with one person, you know, worldwide, we would all be clones. There is a need for debate in this country. There are so many things that are wrong with it. There are so many things that could be beneficial if people just spoke their minds and gave opinions and gave ideas. But, you see, the reason why we harass Greg and why we try and, you know, get to him is because he has a horrible horrible way of expressing his opinion and as you guys can tell no one can have an opinion no one unless they are kissing his ass or agreeing that vegetarianism is the best way to go I mean best way they cannot even say meat in their sentence though because be careful he'll censor that shit and make it sound like shit because that's what he does um you just you don't get the difference between hate and harassment or opinions and you know we're not doing either it's just he doesn't want to be harassed and we get that but how can you be that stupid to say you don't understand why people are calling you out and why people are harassing and hating on you when you make the stupidest videos about vegetarianism and about circumcision but about circum sizing your children. He made a big deal on Twitter calling Shay Carl the worst father ever because he was having his child circumcised. And that's just ridiculous. I mean, put on loads of makeup and just call people out saying that you're not a man. You're not a man if you're circumcised. And it's it's stupid. Yeah, you might have an opinion, but to call somebody who is the father of four happy and healthy children, you know, the worst father, come on now, that's just stupid, um, and, you know, he doesn't want people to harass him, yet he makes videos calling his girlfriend, and she doesn't answer, and by golly, if Greg doesn't get his way, he just keeps on, and keeps on, oh, the only person I want to talk to won't answer my phone calls, maybe it's because you're a freaking crazy person, and you won't quit blowing up her phone. You burst at the seams when you don't get your way. That's why all of his videos disabled. Disabled for comments unless you're kissing his ass. Disabled. 
for likes and dislikes because he doesn't want to know how much the world hates him. You put out videos about vegetarianism saying that we're eating our neighbors and our family members when we eat a cow? Really? Really? I mean, I understand that the turkey camps and the chicken camps, they all brutally murder these chickens and turkeys and it's it's inhumane. I, I understand that. But if I see a deer, if I see, I hate chickens, just so you know, I don't care if a chicken dies. A chicken flocked me and I was trying to feed it. If that tells you anything. Um, but yeah, they're harmed. But some people like the taste of meat in their mouth. And instead of going, you're a fucking murderer. You, you would, how would you like it if somebody came into your home and slit your throat and then ate you? I wouldn't like it at all. Um, it'd be cannibalism. And it, that's the difference. We're not eating humans. We're eating animals. Animals are not the same as us. They're not in the same, you know, um, species. They're totally different. Yeah, they have a beating heart. Yeah, they have brains. I'm not sure how much they can think. But, that's how people began eating. They didn't survive the Ice Age on plants. I mean, if you wanted somebody to take you seriously, all you would need to do is make a video. Well, I mean, you fucked it up already. But, if you had wanted them to take you seriously, just make a video and be like, Hey guys, um, I just want to talk to you about something. I'm a vegetarianism, a vegetarian, and I think that the, you know, slaughter of animals is inhumane, and I disagree with it, and an alternative to eating animals would be to go on a vegetarian diet. But no, 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 no. Excuse me. That's not good for Greg. He's got to put on makeup and he's got to act like a belligerent fool to get to somebody's opinion or to make them change. And that's not going to happen. And it's not harassment when the person has harassed us. It's just counter opinions. And that's the thing. Greg does not want anybody's opinion but his own or someone who agrees with him to be put out there. He doesn't want to acknowledge it. He wants it to be in a make-believe world that he is... King Onision, you know, that's how he wants to live, and that's what we don't like, in my opinion, I think that's what other people don't like, but that's what I don't like, I think it's ridiculous that you can't take people for their opinions, I mean, it's just ridiculous, and another thing I want to point out, these whole skits that he says are like American Dad, and are like Family Guy, and are like South Park, yeah, they're like them, but you don't see sitcoms on television pushing people downstairs, beating a woman who's pregnant with a baseball bat. They're cartoons. They're not portraying the human race as some fucking... Ah, it just pisses me off. And the fact that you know that that video was about what you made it about. And then you had to change the title. Because so many people gave you hate mail over that video. Because it was horrible. It was horrendous. Speaking for personally from somebody who's went through an abortion not proud to say this, but it hits home quite a bit when you see somebody beating the life out of a baby. It's just, it's ridiculous. And yeah, so I just want to let you guys know that we're not harassing. We're putting our opinion out there. And um, pretty much everything that he's replied to saying that never happened did happen, you know, because if you reply to something that somebody's talking about, you know that uh, you did whatever they're talking about, right? Because that makes total sense. Mm. I hope you guys are having a good night. Take care. Much love. Mm. Peace out.